Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up Time Machine, which is used to back up your Mac. And to do this, you'll first need an external drive. You can see that I have my external drive plugged in. Once you have your external drive plugged in, go ahead and click on the Apple icon in the top left corner and click on System Settings. From here, click on General, and then you'll want to scroll down until you see Time Machine and click on it. And then click on Add Backup Disk. Select the drive you want to use and click on Set Up Disk. Now please note here that Apple does recommend that you use an external drive that is twice the capacity of your Mac, but this is the only drive I have on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Make sure that you have encryption turned on, and then set up a strong password. I would recommend using a passphrase, which is multiple words together. And I do recommend a very strong password just because if anyone gets access to your backup, they'll have access to everything on your backup. You'll then need to set up a hint. You can click on custom to limit the maximum amount of space that is used for your backups on this external drive. Keep in mind that as it fills up, it will automatically delete the oldest backup to make room for new ones. I'm going to leave mine on none for now and then click on done. Now we can see the status here, it's waiting to back up. We do have some options. For example, we can change the backup frequency. We can also exclude things from our backup. So if there's something on the computer you don't want backed up, you can do that here. We're going to go ahead and let this backup complete. We can see the backup has completed. And so if I click on the time machine icon up here in the top right, we have the backup now option, which allows us to manually trigger a backup. We can click on browse time machine backups. From here, you can browse the backup. So for example, if you accidentally deleted something and need to recover it, you can do that from here. And then you'll just select whatever you need to restore and then click the restore button. You can also sort the time frame by clicking up and down on the arrows here. And if I click on cancel, and back here in the top right, if you click on settings, it's going to take us right to this menu again. So just note that you can quickly access Time Machine from clicking this icon in the top right. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month. The thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.